and welcome back to my channel. So this is basically a video, a little bit about basically Seat Leon FR, not the normal one, the FR. <coughs> now as we all know, um, or if you don't know you'll find out now, that basically um, Seat, Volkswagen, they're all basically built in the same factory, they're all, so basically as I drove this car, um, from uh, from around Sale, Didsbury area, up to here in Leeds. It felt just like my mum's Polo. It didn't have uh, the greatest throttle response. Um, if you try and drive it equally like it wants you to, then you put it. Then it takes a bit to move. Whereas you see, like a BMW or an Audi, the Audi um, TTS line I did the I did the few months ago. You put your foot down on that, and whoo, it was gone. But on these ones, you put your foot down a little bit. Unless you're in a low gear, it won't move. If you want to go eco, but you have to drop a gear. If you want to really, if you just want to go, it takes a bit to build the speed up. Which to me is a bit. It's not the best. I mean, to be honest. Um, I'm going to put a few cutaways in so you can see um, like the uh, the dashboard is, is actually quite nice it's, I think I think it's not a digital one it's nice so you can see all the details like the uh, the radio station everything in front of you take your eyes away from the wheel um, it has some decent steering wheel controls as you can see uh, I personally like I said I don't really like the um, the handbrake button because I like the whole pull up whereas most of them now just have a, a switch wheel or a, a pull or whatever I just don't like them the electric ones and to me like I said if, if you can't jump start them if the battery um, <coughs> runs out which is one reason why you would have to jump start a car if the battery went you can't jump it because you can't turn the handbrake off so it's a bit of a flaw but in, if, you, if, if your um, battery works it's great because it you, you don't have to maintain it the, you know, or in the service they would just check it and make sure it's fine the car decides how much it's got to be done um, I do like the look of this car I do like the centre console it's quite uh, <coughs> bog, it's quite bog standard you don't really need stuff it's got um, uh, parking sensor, front and rear parking sensors various modes it has a sync mode which is good so like if you were uh, if you both like, if you're in on your own and you want to have the same temperature outcome in the same area, the whole car, like 20 degrees, like I've got it on, it's perfect for that. So if you press sync and you just adjust it equally, but you take sync off and then you can adjust it differently, like individually. Like if I like it at 20, but someone else likes it at 23, it obviously it's going to come in, some of the 23 of theirs is going to come into mine, but you can program it to hit you how you want it to be, which I think is quite good. Um, it isn't really, it, it's like, where would you get like um, Vauxhalls and, pl and pl things like that who have too many, and Mercedes have too many buttons on the dash, right. they have too much going on the dash, whereas this one is pretty decent, it doesn't have loads, it's, most of the stuff is in the screen, it's, it's a touch screen monitor, which is great, so you don't have to have all these buttons, really good. So it's not too bad this really, um, as you can see it has radio, the media I'm guessing you can put um, an SD card or something in it would be fine, it does have a navigation system, which actually, oh, data's not available, oh, navigation data is not available, it will be available eventually I reckon, but um, it has the disc, it comes with the disc. Um, as traffic details, sound so you can adjust your sound accordingly, like um, different volume, the uh, equalizer, the balance, all that kind of stuff. Telephone, obviously, we all know what that is a vehicle, so it basically tells you everything about the vehicle. What's things about the vehicle? Uh, I don't know what full link is. What the hell's full link? Full link. Oh, so you can, if you want Apple Play or anything like that, I guess that's if you want to connect your, your phone to your, um, to here so you can play your music <coughs> wirelessly. Simple to use. The seats are comfy because I drove up here, it took me about an hour, just over an hour, and now I've been sat in here for about another hour and a half, and I'm, st and I'm not uncomfy. Some cars, 
you can be you can drive and they and within by half an hour an hour an hour and a half you are so won't be so uncomfy but this one they're actually quite comfy and they're not a bad uh, design seats to be honest in the back you've got lots of um storage as in like you've got lots of leg room the boot is decent size um I have to like check everything when I collect these cars. I have to check what's in the boot, so so it doesn't come with a spare wheel. It just comes with a repair kit, a tow bar thing, you know, you, that you screw into like your things you need to be towed, locking wheel nut, that kind of stuff. So it has a repair kit, which is obviously it's weight saving and space saving as well, which is quite good. But imagine if you got two punches, could you use it for two car, two wheels? Or could you use it for four wheels? You know what I mean? So it's it's good the fact that there's no wheel, so it's quick bang. But then you but then the only problem is, if you have um, if you get a puncture and you have a spare, we can change it and get the other car, the other tire fixed. Whereas, I think if you have a repair kit, you can't. You have to get a new tire. You can't. I don't think you can repair the 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 tire if you spray all the stuff in to seal it up. If you if if I'm if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below because it'd be good to know whether. If you do get a puncher, if you can repair the puncher after you've done a repair kit job on it, or if you have to replace the tire, or if there's a place you have to go to to, to like take the stuff out and then clean it up inside before they fix it properly, you let me know in the comments below because I really like to know all this stuff because it's kind of like you know I have run flats personally on my thing so or you know <coughs> to get somewhere safe and I can just fix it so it's not like it's dire. You know, because it has the metal um, what, a tire wall, so it's good for that. That in that respect. Um, but yeah, I, I do like the car, but would I get one? For the throttle response, no. For the styling, yes. It does. It is a nice car. It really is a lovely car. I mean, the dashboard's a bit, you know, a bit bit plastic as the as you would from a cheap from a cheaper uh, car and a cheap manufacturer. Um, to be honest, my mum's uh, Polo 1.2, pretty good to be honest, it's quite, got, quite nippy. That's got a better dashboard, so I wonder, if, I think maybe Volkswagen, even though it's better in the same factory, maybe Volkswagen have, have paid more to make it a nicer car, whereas this one is just, you know, it's not plastic, right? it's kind of plastic, it's kind of plastic, but it looks very plastic, but apparently it's not plastic, you have to feel in it. But it's a, I think it's, I think it's a rubber. It's rubber, but it's just, it just looks cheap and nasty. But what can you say for a car that's probably like what between fifteen and twenty-five grand, probably less than that. But it's an FR. It is the sports version of the um, of the Leon. I do think the uh, the wheels are quite nice. Um, the blue is a lovely shade of blue. I think it's quite nice, as you can see. Um, it's like a midnight blue. I think. So I wouldn't say it was an ocean blue. I think it definitely say a midnight blue. I also, I mean, some people like them, but I, I'm not keen on them. But you know, on the, on the um, wing mirrors, when someone comes up your up on your on your your blind spot, got like little lights on either side. So when it, someone comes up, it, it detects someone's there and lights up, and you can see it. But I don't like them because if I want to see someone's there, if I'm t if I'm changing lanes, I'll look myself. I don't need to know if there's someone next to me. So that's kind of annoying in that respect. But um. Yeah, it's a good car. It's a, it's a, it's very quiet. The engine, which is good. Um, do I like the car? Yes. Would I buy one? Yes and no. If I didn't, if I if I wanted to go for a cheaper car, cheaper spec, I'd get one. Because it isn't a bad car to be honest. But I like my BMWs, and you know, I may look for a Leon, but I just don't. I'm not sure. Um, I'm just waffling on now. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of the um, of the of this car. Tell me you think it's good, bad. What you change, what you like about, it, what you dislike about. It. If you disagree with me, let me know. This is about a community. You know, I'm reviewing a car, but you, if you have one, you tell me something that I haven't noticed about it. That's good. Uh, that, and it, the styling is quite nice on the on um, this, as you can see. Um, Yes, it is a manual, it's six speed, it's a lovely manual. Um, it is, I like it, it's a nice car. Yeah, and it's very good on fuel as well. Um, it had half a tank in when I started driving it, and it was only, only dipped by one eighth. But that's, that's really good for like 
almost like 60 miles or something like that so it's really good on fuel which is also a bonus and see what you think